viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 2. So in the first two episodes we covered question 1 and question 2 respectively. So this episode focuses on question 3. So let us move straight to question 3. So question A3 simplify 2x plus 14 over 2x square minus 98. So for now, let me uh, zoom in question A, then let alone focus on question B, which is from a uh, geometric progression. So when you look at uh, question A, what you notice in this case, the question requires us to simplify. So when the question says simplify, what it's saying is make it simple, meaning there is a simpler way you can express something. So ways like simplify, evaluate, complete, they mean the same thing. That's what you need to bear in mind. So by simplifying, we want to make it a much more simple. So for us to make it much more simple, we need to look at what is common. So if you notice from here, just from the top, you notice that we have a 2 here, which can go into 14. So I will factor out a 2 here. So 2 into 2x will remain with x, then plus 2 into 14 is 7. So this is another way of expressing the numerator. When you look at the denominator, I have a 2 here and 98 here. 2 can go into 98 without leaving a remainder, so I can factor out a 2 there. Then I'm going to have 2 into 2x square, I'm going to mean with x square. Then 2 into negative 98, I'm going to mean with negative 49. Then at this point, next I notice that these 2 and these 2 can cancel out. Then I'm going to mean x plus 7 over x square minus 49. So if I look at uh, the denominator, I will notice that this is nothing but a quadratic equation, which is in this form ax square then plus bx then plus c equals to 0. It's the same thing, except that here this is nothing. So this part is what we have. So what we have in this case, we have 1x square, then plus 0x, then minus 49, like that. So c is nothing but negative 49. That's what we get. Then a is 1, then bx is 0. So what we have in this case, we have a case where a is equal to 1, then b equals 0, then c equals negative 49. So once b is equal to 0, what it means is we are looking for the perfect square. So the two numbers, in such a way that when you multiply them, they will give us a negative 49. Then when you add them, they will cancel each other such that we get a 0. So we need to look at what is the square root of 49. The square root of 49 is 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Now, because when we add those square roots, we are getting a 0. It means one should be positive, one should be a negative. So, hence, to simplify the denominator, we have x square minus 7x. So, we are going to replace uh, the 0x with a special 0, and this special 0 is nothing but 7x minus 7x, which is, this is a special 0. Hence, we are putting here this plus 7x. Remember, this is something I've just arranged. This one, this one comes in front, then this one goes backward. Then minus 49. However you arrange it, it doesn't matter. Then this is a quadratic equation that we can uh, simplify. So what you notice here in this case, you group this as that, then you also group uh, this one as that. Then once you do that, we can factor out x, and x is common here, so we are going to end up with x out, then x into x square is x, then x into negative 7x is negative 7. Then we have plus here, so 7 out, 7 into 7x is x, then 7 into negative 49 is negative 7. So what you notice in this case is, um, these should be the same. If they're different, you've made a mistake. Then we take out what is common. This is common and this is common. Then what you notice in this case, this can be written as x minus 7. We factor it out because it's common and it's common. Then into this all thing, we remain with x. Then this all thing, this into this all thing is just plus 7. So this one is what we replace here. 
then this now becomes uh, x plus 7 over this which is equal to 0 is the same as that equals now x minus 7 then multiply by x plus 7 then from there you notice that uh, these are common they will cancel then here we have a 1 then we end up with a 1 over x minus 7 as the answer 1 over x minus 7 as our answer so basically this is how you answer this question to get the full 2 max question b of 3 given that the third and the sixth terms of a geometric progression are 3 over 4 and 3 over 32 respectively find the Loma numeral 1 first term and the common ratio. So when you look at this one, we've been given the third term and the sixth term to be this one and that one, respectively. Then the question is requiring us to find the first term and the common ratio. When we, we look at uh, the geometric progression, uh, the general formula is given by Tn equals to A multiplied by R to the power N minus 1. So that's Tn subscript. So when you look at uh, the question, the question is asking us to find A and R, given that this N is given to us, we have the third and the sixth term, then this one is given to us, which is this one and this one respectively. So basically this is uh, a simultaneous equation. So what we do is, let us see, substitute there to form two equations, then we solve them simultaneously. So we have the third term to be this one, which is 3 over 4 equals A multiply by r to the power n, what is n in this case, third term, so it will be 3 minus 1. So simplifying this, we have 3 over 4 equals a multiply by r to the power 2. Then uh, simplifying this one, we cross multiply, we are going to have 3 equals 4a multiply by r to the power 2. So this is equation 1. Then we do the same for the second information that we've been given, which is the sixth term, in this case, let me use a different color, so we have 3 over 32 equals a, then r to the power 6 minus 1, then this is equal to 3 over 32 equals a, r to the power 5, then we cross multiply, then we're going to end up with 3 equals 32 a, r to the power 5. This is the second equation. So now what you need to do is, like I said, you need to solve this equation simultaneously. So what you do is, you notice that uh, this is equal to 3. So this is a 3 here and this is a 3. So meaning this one and this one are equal. So we equate them. So we are going to have basically form a r square equals 32 a r to the power 5. Then what we do is, we can divide by 4a r square, then 4a r square this side, then that one and that one, so we're going to have 1 equals basically 4 into 32 is 8, then we have a and a cancels, then we have r square into r to the power 5, we end up with r cubic. Remember, as long as the base is the same, we subtract the powers, so we end up with r to the power 3, then we divide by 8, by 8, that, that's so going to remain with 1 over 8 is equal to r to the power 3. So in this case, what we're saying is, there is a number in such a way that when you multiply itself 3 times, we are going to get 1 over 8. That's what it means. So to find that number, you find the cube root, the cube root here. So you end up with a bar equals to half. Remember, when you multiply 1 over 2, multiply by 1 over 2 3 times, we're going to end up basically 1 over 8. So that's the case. So we know what R is. Then the next thing is for us to find A. So for us to find A, we'll just pick one. So in this case, we're going to pick this one, which is much more simpler. Then this tells us we have 3 equals 4 A R square, where R is half. Then we have 3 equal A multiplied by 1 over 2 square. So 3 equals 4 A then multiply by 1 over 4, which is basically half times half. Then we notice that uh, this one, this one and the, this one cancels, so we're going to end up with 3 equals A times 1, which is A. So that's how you answer the first question. 
Then the second question is for us to find the nth term. So the nth term. So now having found uh, the values, this is much more straightforward. So what we have is now tn equals to what is a? A is basically 3. Then what is r? r is half. Then to the power n minus 1. So this one is the nth term that we are looking for. Just a matter of substituting the values that we found here. Then make it generic. So the correctness of Loma numeral 2 depends on how you answer question 1. Which is Loma numeral 1. So if you mess up Loma numeral 1, then everything you mess up. Then look at Loma numeral 3 sum to infinity so basically what we need to do is now proceed to finding sum to infinity so how do we find sum to infinity so the formula for sum to infinity is given by so this is Roman numeral 3 is sum to infinity is given by a over 1 minus r where r should be less than 1 so in this case Notice that R is less than 1. So what we do in that case, we substitute. What is M? A will find it to be 3. Then we have 1 minus F. So we have 3 over uh, basically 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 into 3 is the same as uh, basically equal to 6. So the sum to infinity is 6. So basically, once you do that, you get uh, these uh, two marks to be correct. So this is how you answer question 3 in this paper so please join me in the next episode when i look at question four thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode if you find this a uh, video to be very helpful please consider liking sharing and if you are new to this channel subscribe to our channel once you go to our channel we'll discover that we've got uh, so much content for you you'll notice that we've got a uh, mathematics a uh, physics and chemistry We've also got a section that is uh, arranged by topics. You could be uh, finding challenges with a specific topic. This is the best section for you.